Lifting straps are one of the most essential tools in a bodybuilder's gym bag, but a lot of people either don't use them at all or use them incorrectly. So let me show you the three most common mistakes I see people make and show you how to use them correctly. For me, lifting straps are the difference between a good back workout and a I can't stand it when I leave reps on the table just because my grip gives out. And if you find your grip to be a limiting factor on back day or with movements like RDLs where you have to sustain your grip for a long time, you need these too. Uh, you can use something like Versa Grips, but even the off-brand ones of those are about twice as much as a decent pair of lifting straps. Straps are very easy, however, to use incorrectly. So let's figure out the right way to use these suckers. Step one. Set them up correctly when you first get them. This is where most people mess up, and if you get this wrong, you won't be getting anything else right after this either. These are brand new, never been opened, stuck. <laughs> The trick is understanding the shape that you want to create here, um, doing that once, and then doing the mirror opposite of that for the second one. So to start, we have both straps just simply unfolded here on the table, they're full length. I find it's easier to do this if you have them pointing away from you versus sideways on the table, it just makes more sense this way. You want to identify the inside and the outside. The inside is going to be the type that has the padding. Oftentimes, I'll try to find a strap that doesn't have this padding, but they're harder and harder to find. Pretty much every brand that comes out with straps these days does include this padding. From there, all you're going to do is loop one side, the tail end, to the outside and then through the loop at the end. And again, tail end here, farthest away from you to the outside and through the loop at the end. So now you have two straps here that are mirror images of each other. And then what you'll do is just pull most of this through the, uh, most of the tail through the loop. And now lo and behold, you have two straps ready to rock. And then we simply turn those over from there so that you're able to see the outside. So if there's a brand logo on it, you want to be able to see that. That will be facing up at this point. So step two now is just identifying which ones we're going to use for left and right. So if you turn your hand over and look at what direction your thumb is pointing here, it's pointing away from my body, and just look at which of the two straps the tail most closely aligns with that. This one is pointing in this direction as opposed to my thumb here. This one is pointing in this direction in line with my thumb here. So then all you do is take your right hand in this case, stick it through the hole here at the end, and then cinch it up and notice the strap of the tail and your thumb should be pointed in the exact same direction, which means then we can take our left hand here and again, all the way through, cinch it up, and we should have a nice match set like this. This is how you know you're ready for action and now ready to practice for step three. Step three is just practicing at home so we can use them correctly in the gym. If you look carefully at a lot of the manufacturer's product images on sites like Amazon, you'll see them being used incorrectly in a lot of those photos. So clearly this is a point of confusion for a lot of people. The main idea is that whatever you're grabbing, your fingers wrap around it from one direction and the tail of the strap needs to come from the opposite direction. Practice on something at home um, until you get the hang of it. I will be using this flashlight simply because it's about the right size and shape of a dumbbell or a barbell. It's easy enough for us to work on here. So again, if my fingers go around it from this direction, you can see my fingers this direction. So that means the strap needs to come from underneath, from the opposite direction like this. And then you simply cinch it up and you're good to go. Your fingers and the tail of the strap should not be in contact with each other until each one has come around whatever you're grabbing from the opposite direction. If they go in the same direction, it protects the skin on your hand a little bit like a glove would, but it actually makes for a weaker grip. You can see this is very easily gonna slip out of my hand. The idea here is that the strap goes around from the opposite direction that your fingers do, and then you can just apply a fairly light fingertip pressure here, and this thing is gonna be very difficult to pull out of your hand at this point. Three common fixes for three common mistakes. Set them up correctly out of the package, put them on the right way and then make sure you're actually using them correctly as well. If you got something out of this, be sure to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and check out the links in the description for more information on what I do to help bodybuilders get better every day. And while you're at it, check out one of these videos to see more about the kind of stuff I post here regularly. Thanks for watching and peace out.